Today we'll see more commands in uh, AutoCAD 3D, which are extrude we have seen already. Then we have loft, revolve and sweep, all right. These commands are also very useful and also it has a lot of functions to create 3D objects. First loft we have and just look at that little description around uh, every tool, okay, you got from this tool tip. So loft we have creates 3D solids or surface in the space between <clears throat> several cross sections, all right. So you have to take several portions or cross section when we will join them, all right, then you will get a shape. We'll see how it will work. For example, I will just draw two circle, okay, just one circle. I have it here and just one more draw here, small circle, okay. And I will move that circle along with Z axis, move and select this one and make sure you are moving along with Z axis, all right. Uh, just, uh, okay, you can just check from here also, look, it's not moved along X axis, so it will not be loft, all right. So you need to be very careful while doing this one. I will do undo again, all right. So I will do undo again, then I will just move it and I will take this one and now just this time just make ortho on, alright. If the ortho is on, now it will show you, you are moving along with Z axis, alright. Now you can see here, yes, now it's right, okay, now they are perpendicular. Now what we need to do, you need to loft it, it's easy, only what you need to do, click here, loft, so you need to click on first surface all right then another surface that's it all right so it's been loft but you cannot see because you are in 2d wireframe all right so you need to change it into visual style and just press enter and enter now job has been done so just go to here and you can choose shades of gray or you can also go with shades with edges i will go with this okay now you can see if you click again you have again modification option if you go here if we have different option to adjust with normal to all section you can use also this one look your shape will be changed accordingly same here you can also normal to start section so in start section it will be normal then it will be banded and also normal to end section so it will be normal to end because now we have two sections hmm? So you can draw many things, but only you have to draw first 2D section, then you can join them, all right. Now, if you will move it, you see it's a solid fill, all right. Uh, same whatever we have in solid, we have in surfaces also, all right, in solid, but we have studied like extrude and same extrusion we have also in surface, okay. Only the difference, surfaces are empty, solids are filled, okay. Same loft command if I will use in surface, you will see it would be only hollow, empty, all right. So here I have this one, one circle I will create, again I will create one more. Okay, this time I will create for example, REC rectangle, okay, because you can have different section. So I will move it, so move it and first of all, keep it in center. From here you can also keep it in center, then you have to move it along with Z axis, all right. So from center and make sure you are moving along with Z axis. Now you can check also, yes, it's right. Hmm? Then go to loft key from here. Now we are in surface, all right. So here we have this loft one and just click this one and then click here, all right. Now it's done and you can see it's empty from inside. Hmm? What else? So one time enter, you will press, then you have more setting to do it. Until finish, you can just do it more setting normal to all section like this you can choose this one so a lot of settings are here you can choose whatever you like okay after done you just press enter now you can see it's done but it's hollow from inside and it was filled so loft you can use in solid and you can also use in surfaces as well all right but i would suggest you you can draw first uh, 2d all right and different sections then you can move on z axis then you can work with them. For example, I will go to the top view right from here in view controls. Okay, just or from the view cube, uh, you can also move to top view from here. Hmm? So for example, you can just create a shape from here. Look, you have big circle, right? Then you have small circle, all right? Or you have ellipse or whatever uh, shapes you have. You can just draw over it and you can just play with it as well, 
right for example we have this shape now just shift and hold scroll wheel to convert into 3d now you can move along with z axis according to the distance required hmm? here then you can also move it all right you can also move in opposite direction as well all right for example this one now i have this all right so now you will go to uh, okay we'll take surface loft so click here all right and then click here all right then you can click here look what shape you have created all right and enter then you have a lot of, i like this one you have various option to change even your shape all right like this only you need to focus to create sections okay if you are good to create section then you can create amazing shape with loft look at here okay if you will check from here loft okay here is description you will see okay how they have created three section one two three different you can create in 2d then easily you can create this shape as well okay uh, next we have uh, which is called revolve okay revolve is also very useful command and you can create very columns and many shapes from this hmm? and any 2d shape you can revolve at 360 and you can create 3d okay how for example we will create this shape which uh, which already created so i will create one line for example this is one line i have it here then you will create uh, arc okay a r c arc i will create here one point and ortho is off and okay if ortho will be off then it will go in different direction so i will just uh, create like this all right okay then you can move it little bit to this one right like this now what i want to do i want to revolve it at 360 revolve is same like mirror you have studied in 2d and we need a mirror baseline to be uh, mirror or flip same here in revolve you need a baseline around where you want to revolve in 3d same you will take a revolve command from here all right now you need to select object which you want to revolve and enter now it will ask you the axis line the revolving line okay you can click here and here start and end now you will see it's rotating look right so it's revolving and you can also give uh, angle to be filled 360 mean all uh, or half you can make it i will make it 360 now you can see you have revolved this one look at here right so many things you can create look hmm? with the revolve command you can create a lot of things so what i will do i will go to just top view and let's create some uh, glass or some columns or some other shapes so i have 2d uh, i will 2d line i will use poly line okay and ortho i will switch off so i have this one okay and this line then i will create this one it on and then like for example this one hmm? i have created this shape I want to, you can fill it also, F and fill it and go to radius and just give uh, some radius to these two lines, okay. So, make a little bit uh, curve, like even same here hmm? and here also. So, you can just create a shape as well, okay, here and here, all right. So, little, because the distance is not enough, no problem, okay. Now, what I will do, I will revolve it. You can also give uh, offset, so I will select offset and distance 0.1 and just click this one so make it like this okay you can create width as well so okay i will take this one and l first i will i should to use one line no problem let's see what we, we are going to create hmm? so make sure this is polyline object then i will change the view so sw now i want to rotate it so you have to choose the mirror line okay from here or the revolve line so i will go revolve and select this one and which direction you want so little bit distance you will see and here look hmm? now it's revolving right and if i will revolve in uh, 180 so you can see it's half filled and it has also two surfaces hmm? uh, i will re uh, rotate it also use this rotate tool and just rotate it from here like this hmm? so you have rotated and here you have this shape All right so if you don't want this one you can delete this one and you can delete this one 
also. Hmm? So this shape we have created, but because uh, it was too, uh, that's why. <coughs> okay, so that's how you can revolve also. Okay, I will do undo and let's see if we have single line. So what will happen? So I'll go here. Okay, and this time I will revolve from here. So I'll make one line from here to here and just I will close it and then extend and extend it then trim this one okay make sure it's a join so i will join it okay and select here yeah, now it's become polyline then go to revolve here then i'll choose revolve command and select the object enter and the baseline from here to here look hmm? so you can create bottle as well 360 degree all right so that's how you can create a lot of amazing things by using uh, revolve 3d revolve command also all right in 2d we have mirror but in 3d we have revolve command all right so you can create a lot of amazing things hmm? okay uh, next we have the most used one our sweep command hmm? that one that is uh, used a lot all right we, we we can create parapet walls as well hmm? we can create a uh, window frame okay door frame all right many things actually it any shape you have to design first of all then you have one path then that shape will follow that path all right we'll see how it will work and in this case no need to be careful in uh, managing plane or sections all right or like uh, which uh, angle you want to. so any angle it will follow hmm? for example i will take spl spl line okay i will just create in any direction no problem look hmm? like this so i have spl line curve i have drawn then i will create a circle and just make sure your circle radius should be enough to bend or to revolve if your circle is bigger than that if it's could not revolve then it will not do sweep hmm? So what I will do, I will just uh, go to sweep command, okay, select that circle, all right, then enter and then select a path like this. Mm. Now it's done. Now you can see the, the circle has been sweep and is filled as well. Mm. Uh, same sweep you can also use in surface, but uh, that would be pipe, all right. If you want to create pipe, then you can use surface sweep all right for example you have a spl all right and enter now i want to create in a surface so circle draw a circle then uh, go to surface or even you can sweep and you can also choose mode from here all right if you choose mode then you can choose surface or solid mm -hmm. or you can directly go to surface and from here you can also choose sweep command okay okay this time i will choose surface and i will select this one and enter then click on path now you will see the pipe will be empty from inside look hmm? so that's how you can create empty pipe or filled pipe as well all right if you want to create solid and surface yeah uh, i told you one command you have also which is called thicken hmm? if you created pipe and you want to give thickness to this all right so you can give thickness so here we have thicken command which is used to provide thickness to your surface all right select this one and specify thickness i will give point uh, 001 okay now it has been provided now thickness all right so that's how you can provide thickness as well to your surface okay uh, let's create other things so we have a rectangle like window frame you want to create or parapet walls you want to create hmm? we can create with the sweep command so i will make one design polyline okay it should be polyline i will make like this and uh, give the width of the wall okay whatever it is let's go here and i will just make some design but you will do with the accurate measurement okay i'm just designing it so you will do with measurement so here we have this one this one this one hmm? so any design for the parapet wall you can create so ex extend and then and then i will trim it so just this is my parapet wall is that height and width you will do exactly three feet or whatever now i want to sweep this one around this rectangle 
So just uh, use sweep command, all right? So here we have sweep and check mode, it's solid. Uh, okay, it's solid, just select this object and then click enter and click here. Now it's done, look at here, right? So now you have created on one click, you have created parapet wall and it's very beautiful. Look at here, right? Everything you have created. So same, you can also create for window uh, frame if you have, okay? For example, REC rectangle and I will create this one and uh, I will convert into arc, convert to arc. So for example, this is your window frame hmm? and you want to create some design here. So easily we can create. So what I will do, I will make one design, poly line and any design you can just pick from uh, internet or even you can design a little bit, all right? So any design I will EX and trim, all right? So this design I want to sweep along with my window frame. So same, you will use sweep command from here, all right? And click here and enter and path. Look, it's swept. Hmm? Now its direction is inside, all right? So what I want, I want to change its direction towards outside or otherwise you can uh, rotate it. But if you want to change, just mirror it. Hmm? Mirror this shape. So MI mirror, all right? In 2D mirror we'll use and you can just mirror like this as well. And yes, I want to remove that source. Hmm? You can do as well. Even if you want to rotate 3D, you can also use 3D rotate and you can just make it Okay, if you want, like same, uh, like here, I can rotate now this one. Okay, you can use also move and you can move this one if you want accurate section to be followed like this. Hmm? Then you can use sweep command and select this one and enter and click on path. Look at here. Now you have created same window frame, right? You have and stylish. Same, so you can create many things to be uh, by using this command and you can create 3D solids object.